Hello everyone, I'm Taumich, and this time I'm going to teach you how to make your own mask for Dota 2. Sorry for the great delay of this video, but as you can see, I have switched to Windows 8, but there should be no problem with that. So, to make it easier, I have made this simple sword for Sven, which is made of three spheres that we are going to make our masks on. My plan is to give each sphere a different setup so that you can see the effects and results of the masking steps. Here on the desktop we have everything we need. The Sven files, the color and the normal as well as the UV and the SMD of the item. So the only thing left is the masks which we are going to make now. So let's start by opening Valve's guide on internet. I'll have a link in the description. So here it is, let's just scroll up. And here is everything you need to know but I'm now going to guide you through it. So after opening the file, just scroll down to the overview and here you can see the examples of Valve's mask channels where the second one is the main one. The first step in Valve's guide is the specular intensity which also represents the red color in the mask2 file. Now let's make our mask file by opening up the color file first. Sadly, my recording program crashes when I open up Photoshop so I'll use my camera to guide you through the painting process. So first of all, we need to open up our channels, which we can find up here in a tab. Here we can find the red, green and blue colors of the image. And by shutting them down, we can see where our color takes effect. This is where the blue channel has its effect. Then we can see how it looks like with different mixes. And these are basically the channels that we're going to edit separately. But there's one channel missing, and you can find it by going down here and adding one channel. Like this. This is the alpha channel, which represents the invisibility of the texture. But we will paint each mask separately, and ignoring the full look of the image. So the first step is the red color or the specular intensity of mask 2. We can find all of its information right here, but we can see the definition of what it does by looking right at these blank spots. This channel determines how bright the highlights are, and Valve recommends you to use the ambient occlusion for this. Now let's make our specular intensity. Now let's just mark the red one by deselecting the other colors. Now just use black, grey and white to color this channel. Try not to use pure black and white. You risk making a too high contrast otherwise. I will now paint each of these spheres with different tones, so that you can see the differences. The first sphere is going to have no specular intensity. And that's why I use a pure black color to remove all the red from the first sphere. I just forgot to increase the opacity to 100% as default. And now it works to paint it in pure black. But I might want to keep the number visible, so I'll just remake it without filling the number. I'll just finish this fast. Now we can start making our grey one, or the default one. So choose a normal grey and then start painting it over. I'll also keep the number untouched. Don't worry if you paint over the black area, because it won't be visible anyway. And that's our first channel. Now let's look what the other one contains. The second step of Mask 2 is the rim light intensity, which is represented by channel 2 or the green color. It basically generates a glow at the brink of the character, so we'll try that on the spheres in different combinations. Let's just make sure it's the right mask we select, and it's going to be green as it says here. So then we just select the green and deselect the red. So let's just paint the first one in white. I'm going to try pure white with this one, so that we can see the rim light. In this way I can guarantee that we will see the effect of the rim light. And now, if we look at the complete image, we can see that it contains some green and red. But before we move on to the next channel, we should complete the green one. So let's just paint sphere 3 black this time, speeding up the clip a bit so that you won't need to wait so long then I shouldn't forget to repaint the white one so that it is complete. And now that that's done, let's just move on to the blue one. And here we have it. 
and this one basically changes the reflection color of the item to its default reflection color which Valve has specified for the hero or item that our item is going to replace. So now just deactivate all the other colors and just keep the blue one left because now it's time to color the blue channel. So let's make our last combination of the tones. There's just a small problem with my video. When I recorded this I had forgotten that I had repeated the same combination twice but that was later solved by changing the reds combination. Well you got the idea of how I combine the colors so we'll proceed to the next step. So here are the last corrections of the red channel that fixes the combination issues. And after this we're good to go with the alpha channel, the last one of the mask 2. And now let's just scroll down to the alpha channel and here we have it. This is the specular exponent and out of my experience I have seen that it is very similar to the normal map you'll soon get what I mean. The description also tells us that lighter values are like polished metal. So now, if we start painting, we'll first of all need to only mark the alpha channel. Then I just select the area where I'm going to paint. I do that by selecting the black area and then inverting my selection. And then I just choose a light color and paint everything, so that I later can fill it with some darker details. I start off by making the bottom one more greyish or darker. In the end, I decide to split up the colors so that every one of them has all the different tunes. Now we are able to see the alpha channel differences on each of the spheres. And when this is done, we can proceed to the mask number one, but I also made some few details on the white so that we perhaps could see some differences later on. And this is the final result of our Mask 2 texture. So let's just save the file as a targa. And I give it the name Mask Test. And don't forget to add underscore Mask 2. Oh sorry, I wrote Mask 1 on it, but we'll change that later. Let's now continue and make our Mask 1. So now open up your color file and reset it so that it looks like default. I have already saved it, so it's just to press no in Save Changes. And now we just need to reopen it, so that it looks nice and clean. And here it is. Let's just scroll down fast. And here we have our Mask 1, Channel 1, red color. But this one is too advanced for me and I don't even know how to use it. So most people just skip it. And same usually happens with the second channel on Mask 1. If you still want to mixture with these, then you should search for the information somewhere else because this is too advanced for this tutorial. And here we have the blue channel of Mask 1. And this one is used on everything which is metal. So let's just start with the red channel. We won't edit it, as I said earlier. So to keep it empty, we will paint it pure black. But since the Dota 2 engine can't recognize a pure black channel, we need to make a mark of another color in the edge, or at least somewhere on the image. So just fill the image black and then add a color on the edge, like this. And now let's move forward to the next channel. And here we will repeat what we just did, so that this second channel will be empty. And now when that's done, let's move on to the next channel. The blue channel represented all the metal on your item, as it's said here. So I plan to do a different setup on each of these three spheres. Let's speed up the video so that we don't need to wait that long for it to be done. And now this channel is complete, so that we can move forward to the alpha channel, the last one of Mask 1. And this is the self-illumination mask, which adds light on the texture. I don't usually use it, because it's made for candles or maybe even blazing runes. But so that you can see how it works, I'll illuminate the second sphere. Then we can try out some effects to see if it will be visible. And when that's done, then we just need to save our file. Because now we are done with our masks. Now make sure to give it the same name as your first mask and color map. And don't forget the underscore mask one. And after me correcting the names of the mask files, we can move on to the Dota 2 game and test our item in the game. So here I have launched the game 
and over here we have all our items and files. And again, make sure everything was saved as a Targa file, because that's something I forgot to do with the normal. But uh, moving on, we just need to enter the Dota 2 store, then press workshop, then publish new item, and after clicking, select wearable item. And begin with selecting your hero, which is Sven in this case, so go down to S, then select what item it will replace. And this one is a sword, and then we must direct it to the source, where it can import our items. In this case I have only one version of the item, so by fast directing it to my desktop, we are able to proceed to the texture source. Now I'll just direct it to the same location, where I have my Targa files. And when that's done, just press OK again. And now it's time to name this version of the item. This name will only be used in the source code, so be sure to rename it every time you make a new import. I'll just name mine Taumich underscore weapon underscore Sven 10. And the 10 is for the version number. Everything is now set up, so let's just save this before we import it. And now the final comes, import. Some epic music. And it was successful! Perfect! So now, let's just press OK and here we can see it. So as you can see, the third one is self-illuminated, while the first or middle one has a strong reflection, as well as very sharp shadows. The second one is very decent, it's just the number icon that is very shiny. Let's just take a last look at the channels. So at mask 1, the blue is the metalness and the alpha is the self-illumination mask. Here we could see the self-illumination taking effect on the third sphere, as well as a bolding effect on the right side. Else we have mask 2, where red is the specular intensity, green is the rim light mask, blue is the tint specularity, and the alpha is the specular exponent. The third sphere's glow comes from the red specular intensity, and the first sphere's rim light comes from the rim light mask, green one. The second sphere uses the blue channel's tint specularity, which gives it another color on the glow, except on the icon which is pure white, as you can see. And the alpha gives us the specular exponent, which isn't that visible on this item. And that was perhaps everything you needed to know, and if you have a question, please first check the description for an answer, else just post a comment. Well then, have a nice day, and goodbye!